everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back. So this is going to be my second page for the month of September. And I decided to go once again to look at my zoo pictures just like I did in the last page that I created. I guess I'm finding more inspiration from that. Um, especially for the papers that I chose that are um, somewhat fall outdoorsy, uh, even though there's really nothing specifically that's outdoorsy, but the, the colors certainly do lean towards it. Well, let me show you what I have. It is a photo of uh, you know a bald eagle, and I have uh, two photos. So I have this smaller one, just like I did in the last page um, that I, um, I'll, I'll try to leave a link to the the uh, the video that I did last week, which um, I titled Silly Bird, but it was this silly little bird. But it had some small photos just like this. Well, that also leans towards me to possibly use the little um, embellishments like I did in the last one. I have two left that are about that size. This one says, Lovely Life Warm and Cozy. That doesn't really fit um, you know the bald eagle this is me and you in August and actually this was in July it doesn't really matter you know I'm, I'm it's not gonna really matter it was hot I know it was in the 90s uh, the day that I went and I might do this one um, so I don't know if I can peel off that August uh, but you know I, I I'm leaning more towards this one. So let's see if I can get that one used up. So I found a sketch and I can't show it because it is something that I had purchased uh, from Allison Davis. It is part of her uh, one, it's a six by six paper pad, but it is for single pages only. And this uh, page that I'm using or this sketch it has three photos, but I'm only going to use these two because it does call for two three by fours, and I'm just going to use this regular four by six photo. And it also has these um, one inch strips that goes across the top. Well, I'm going to switch it so that the strips are going to be on the side. And with one inch strips, that means that there's going to be 12 strips. And I could use, you know, four different pattern papers or or three or two or six or whatever, it you know, whatever my heart desires. Well, what I decided to do is if I could use up some of these scraps, that would be fantastic. So I looked through and I pulled out, I pulled out 12. And I think that they work well together except for one. And the one I'm just going to just eliminate completely. So I know I used these two in my last page. And I know that those two go together. And this was, um, it was the Amber Lane, um, Auburn Lane, as well as this one. So I'll be able to cut a one inch, one by six. That's what I'm looking for, one by six. So. All those are Auburn Lane. I know those all go together. Is there any other? This one was also Auburn Lane, also. I'll be able to do a strip here. And this one was. Well, this is the one that I am going to eliminate just because it doesn't go with these others, which the, these actually go with this except for this one. This tone is so different, this pink is so different that I think it's just going to be an eyesore. So I'm going to pull this aside so now I have 11 but I know that this, I mean so far I'm looking at this, okay don't look at that pink but look at that. So we're, it's looking pretty good. It looks like it's all coordinating. Of course it has, um, this is navy so I'm liking the way this is going. So the rest of these are from the again and again. So now I have to think about, well, what am I gonna do for a background? So I thought, well, you know, I, I do have a lot of like solid papers and I look through all of these. This is what I have. This was too dark. This didn't have anything with gold in it. So I just didn't feel 
right. I don't think it even coordinated with it. This was too dark. This was the wrong tone. Too busy. I got a, I got an excuse for all of them, don't I? This one I liked, but I thought it had too much pink. Um, this one was too busy, way too busy, and it, and then this is also too busy, and oh my gosh, way busy. So I'm, I'm just going to use just white. Now there is, you know, the, if you know how Allison's sketches are, there are, she usually has some sort of a stripe that's in it, which I do have some black and white stripe. I'm going to see how that's going to look with it. I may forego the striped paper, but uh, I will just show you what I get completed and we can go with the next step after that. Well, I'm back and I've been kind of playing around with the stickers. I glued everything down or I attached. I didn't really glue. I also put this washi tape here. Um, I did pull out three washi tapes, which I did not show in my, um, you know, the kit that I created, but I did pull out these three, and this is kind of a gray wood grain, well, you can probably see it better here, kind of a brownish gray, and I decided to use that instead of a striped paper, but I was just kind of playing around with some of the stickers, um, so uh, I, I guess I, I'm kind of leaning towards having this huge the bigger, um, you know, cluster down here. And this is was in my collection, or in my kit, and this is gonna be the base for me to put everything on. Now this is also a sticker, and you know, when it comes in that sticker sheet, it's not a full 12 inch, but my photo covers this line, so I'm just gonna cut it in half and have it go up. and match on both sides, you know, both ends. And I know that the colors aren't like perfect, but I, you know, with his orange beak, I'm I'm liking it. There's no orange here uh, or any fall colors, but I have to say I absolutely love the fact that I have put 11 different um, papers on here. They're the two uh, that are the same are these two right here, kind of a soft pink. And I thought, well, you know what? I mentioned that I'm not a big uh, paper clip person, but I thought I could just paper clip the little photo here. This is background paper that um, I got it from, I think this one was from the Auburn Lane Ooh, I don't know, maybe it was again and again. Um, one of those, because I have the six by eight pads. I am not going to be, I don't want to be wasteful of my 12 by 12 papers, uh, but I'm okay with cutting up the six by eight. That's what the paper's for, is to use it up. So uh, I decided to use this. This is a scrap that I had left over. And this is the top part here, I'll just show you. So you pull it off the pad, and then this is like the header, and then the little hole is here. And I didn't have enough of the pink to make it, a, you know, a border all around. So I just do it like this. Huh? It works. I'm okay with it anyway. And so I'm going to put this behind it. I'm using a couple of the word stickers here. This one is quiet. This one is captured. This was actually, I got this from here. This is from the, uh, you know, the cut apart. And it was the bigger two by two, I believe it was. And I just cut it down. And everything is kind of going together. I just think that this cluster up here needs a little something. So I got out the little dies that I had cut the leaves from. And if I don't use one of these, I reserve the right to cut out, I'm thinking maybe a pink. So I'm just gonna kind of play around some more. See about maybe using this. 
I don't know exactly. Maybe these, maybe those would be a little bit better. I'm sure those have names of little stars or flowers. I really don't know how you're supposed to put them on. Do you put them on like that? Or I, to me, they look better like this. I don't know how you guys have been using them. And then I used one of these on my last page. I may end up putting that there as well. Yeah, let's just see. And then I have, of course, the sequins in here. So um, that's kind of what I've been working on. Uh, let's see how it kind of comes together. I may do some splatters. I may not. I don't think I'm going to do any stitching, though. Um, I know she does a lot of stitching on her page, and I don't know what uh, the sketch is hidden under the the pile of papers, just like the last time. Make such a mess over here on my left side. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this all together, and then I'll just do a final reveal. I think that's probably where I'm at. All right. All right, so here I am at the end, and I've done um, a little bit more than what I thought I was going to. Um, I went ahead and got my title down because it is a bald eagle, and of course that's the U.S. Uh, national bird. It stands for freedom. And I also added these little um, hashtags up here. It's just an extra, I don't know if you can even see it. It's just an extra dimensional um, you know, embellishment as well as some of the sequins and the wooden pieces here in the very dark brown. I only used two of the leaves up here. I didn't think that it needed much more than that. In fact, I didn't think it needed any more of that. And I have, um, I have these complete as well. Now, the other big thing that I did add to this as I was going through the stuff that I had pulled for this kit was this black ribbon. And I thought, you know what? I really need to use this. And so when I placed it here, I absolutely loved it there because of the, the feathers on the eagle were so dark. I just felt that it was like an extension of the tree. It brought in the color of the bird. I don't know. I really did like it. And on the edging is pink. So it's, you can't see, but but I can tell. And I'm, I'm really loving this. And I'm done. I'm complete. Um, I've completed my second layout. I've got one more that I'm definitely going to be doing. I'm going to see if I have two more because I certainly have enough paper, that's for sure. But it's the embellishments. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, um, you know, much more. I only have that one sticker sheet and some of these. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining me this uh, today and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye.